Hey guys, and welcome back to The Bearded Chef. As you can tell today, I am sporting a new t-shirt, and it is from the Kill and Taste Studios team. So if you want to check their stuff out, I will link their website down below along with their Instagram. Now for the content today. We're going to be making beetroot chips with a spicy goat's cheese dip. So if you follow me over to the cutting board, I'll put on my apron and we can get started. Started, preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Wash your beets and top and tail them. They should look something like this. If you have a mandolin, use it and we're going to shave these to about a sixteenth of an inch thick. If you don't have a mandolin, use a knife and be careful but try to slice it as thin as you can. Should look something like that. Now that we got all our beets sliced up, we're going to grab a sheet pan. I have silicone mats, if you don't, just use parchment. Pour some olive oil on the pan and we're going to spread this out very thinly. Next, place your beets, making sure they are not touching, filling the whole sheet pan. Take these and bring them to the oven. We're going to cook these for about eight minutes, flip them, and then an additional eight minutes. While that's going on, we'll make our goat's cheese dressing. Goat's cheese are Greek yogurt, garlic powder, sriracha, adjust this to your taste. We're going to blitz this and then now season it. A little bit of salt and some acid lime juice. Once this is done, we are going to scrape this out of the food processor into a bowl. And then we are going to chop up our chives, just a nice thin slices. these to our dip and then make sure to stir these in to fully incorporate them. Our beetroot chips should be done now so let's take these out, place them into a bowl and then we're going to season them with a little bit of sea salt. Give them a toss to coat them and it's plating time. Finish your dip off with a little bit of chili flake and enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, go over to Killin' and Tay to check out their artwork and their t-shirts. Both of their website and their Instagram will be linked down below, along with my personal and the Bearded Chef one. So until next time. Get a chef out.